Well, it's all about portion size, though, even though we're having duck for breakfast with Executive Chef Jonathan Olinger, the chef at the Smithfield Inn. Welcome to the Hampton Road Show this morning. Thanks for me. The Smithfield Inn taking part in a taste of Walsingham, and we want to show the ham biscuits mm -hmm. that you're making for that event. You're going to give us a taste of the Smithfield Inn this morning in the mm -hmm. form of the duck breast. Well, I'm starting out. Um to go along with the duck is a po uh, Pinot Noir poached pear. Oh, um, yeah. So I'm going to start out. It's just a western pear, sweet pear. You can use cooking pears as well, but uh, they're a little thicker and have, they're a little more gritty. Mm -hmm. You start out by peeling the pear. Now, you have um, what kinds of ingredients set up? This is just for the sauce, right? Yeah, this is just for the pear itself. Um, it's going to be a little bit of uh, whole clove, star anise, mm. um, peel from the lim one lemon. Mm hmm vanilla, sugar, a little bit of water, and then the pinot. Oh, very good. So that just that one pair, and do you have any heat going on just yet? Not yet. Um, once we get everything in, we'll turn on the heat, bring it to a boil. Very nice. So you've got the, that's lemon rind, right? Yes, or just the peel. Just lemon peel? Mm -hmm. And that's the clove? Yeah, clove and uh, a half of star anise. Okay, what's that? Like vanilla, and then we're going to uh, about a cup of sugar. Okay. Half a cup of water. And then one bottle of Pinot Noir. And this recipe will hold, it'll do about six to eight pairs. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to start that, um, get your heat going. And this is, you want to bring it to a boil to dissolve the sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once it comes to a boil, you're going to turn the heat down and let it simmer for about 20 minutes ah, until okay. the pear becomes tender. Um, and easily pierced with a knife. Right. So you just want for this amount of liquid what you have here just one pair. No, it'll it'll do up to about six or oh, eight. Okay, I gotcha. Um, but you just have one. One for show, and I yeah, understand. Yeah. Now, what are these ingredients here? These for? are going to be for our duck. Um, just a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, this is actually a Creole seasoning that we make. Um, you can also use Pauper Dome makes one. Uh, mm -hmm. Emerald has some I've at the grocery store. I've heard about his. Yeah, a lot of people like so, his. Um, you can also use those. We make our own. Um, you basically want a red, white, and a black pepper, thyme, and a little bit of oregano. So as far as making this, you suggest making it, of course, ahead of time, and then the, the duck... Pears, the pears need to be done the day before, and uh, <laughs> you let it steep in the refrigerator overnight in the sauce, okay. and then uh, it'll turn the pear a nice purple color. Very nice. Our duck is in the next segment, so what will we be doing with the duck? For the duck... Um, we're just going to score the skin, uh, mm -hmm. skin on duck. So um, you want to score the skin to uh, keep it from folding up. Um, the skin will draw up and uh, kind of fold. So you want to score that. Then we're going to sear it um, in a hot skillet and uh, place it in the oven. Sounds easy, actually. So we'll yeah. talk more about that coming up in the next segment while we wait for this to boil up. It's a really good smelling sauce. Jonathan, thanks very much. Thank you. with executive chef Jonathan Olinger from the Smithfield Inn making seared duck breast with Pinot Noir poached pear sauce. That is still cooking yeah, up. We're waiting for it to cooking. boil. Mm -hmm. But then we've got the duck breast here. Yeah, we're going to start with the duck breast. Um, you start out by turning your skillet on, getting it nice and hot mm -hmm. um, while is, that's going. So do you, at the store, you get it and it looks like this? Uh, yes, you can get just uh, the breasts like this, mm -hmm. um, about 8 to 10 ounces, uh, skin on, boneless. Right. Um, we're going to score the skin, so, uh, just take a sharp knife, kind of drag across. You don't want to go all the way through with the meat, but you do want to score the fat so it doesn't um So cutting up. it all the way through, you don't want to actually touch the meat. Yeah, itself. you don't want to cut into the meat. You just want to uh, score the skin. And just what does a that do? Bit. It keeps the, um, when it crisps up, um, you know how bacon will fold up? Yeah. It'll do the same thing. Oh, It'll keep okay. your duck breast from folding into a U. Gotcha. Cool. Now this is on the menu at the Smithfield Yes, it Inn. is. Really nice. And this is one that you came up with. How did you put it all together with the Pinot Noir um, sauce? I used to do the pears for a salad. I thought it um, accompanied the duck uh, apparently nicely. Neat. Um, so once your pan's hot, you're going to um, add a little bit of olive oil. Kind of toss that around to get it coated. Mm -hmm. Let that heat up just a little bit. Yeah. Um, so talk about what's going on over at the Smithfield Inn. How are things going there? Uh, we're doing real well. Um, we have a nice uh, New Orleans-style brunch on Sundays. Um, and then we're open dinner um, Tuesday through Saturday, uh, lunch every day. Nice. Okay, so salt and pepper. And then this is your it's secret? A, yeah, it's a little Creole seasoning. Um, like I said, you can use the ones from the store if you don't feel like making it. Um, Pauper Down has a nice one. That's what I use if I don't make right. my own. Like when you're at home, maybe? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I'm just going to put this in a hot skillet. This is going to cook for about five minutes on this side, on mm -hmm. the skin side. You want to get nice and um, golden brown. You we'll flip it over for two minutes on the other side, right. and we'll go in the oven. Uh, oh, to finish all up. At 350. Um, Mid-rare, it'll be about six minutes. Um, if you like it more done, it'll be a little longer. Very, very good. Now, do you season just one side? Or <laughs> no, I just do, do both? just a little bit of salt and pepper on the back side. Very, very nice. Now, folks want to find you. Where can they find you? We're um, 112 Main Street in Smithfield, Virginia, right on the end of Main Street. Yeah. A great location. Mm -hmm. So quaint. We also have uh, rooms to stay in um, mm -hmm. if you're out that way. We have eight rooms. So. All right, very, very good. So this sauce will uh, cook up, and I know through the magic of television, we're going to yeah. make it be done, uh -huh. and we'll put everything together coming up in the last segment. Okay. Awesome. Thanks very much. Thank you. Finishing up our meal with executive chef Jonathan Olinger, introducing Mike Scahill, vice president of Smithfield Foods International Group and a Walsingham Academy parent, both here to talk about a taste of Walsingham. And we talked earlier about Smithfield mm -hmm. Inn having a part in this event over at Walsingham Academy. And Mike, you're a parent with students who graduated, one who graduated from the school and right. one who currently is there. Right. Well, first I want to say Smithfield Inn is part of Smithfield Foods, and I'm Glad to be here with John this morning, who's preparing duck for, for <laughs> working for a pork company. Uh-oh. And also, I do want to put in a plug for bacon. Right. Uh, and uh, again, bacon is very good, healthy. It course, is. Uh, we were talking breakfast. about breakfast foods earlier, and yeah. as long as you don't eat, like, four plates of it, you know, a little right. bit is all right. That's it's all right. about portion control. That's right. Uh, Jonathan, you're finishing up the dish with mm -hmm. the duck, and that went in the pan, seared both sides. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you're just kind of... Yeah, and, slicing uh, it up. How I do you slicing the medallions. Um, when you score it, you can actually, uh, you have your lines in uh, the skin. So uh, it's very simple. You just follow the same lines, go all the way through, and then you can just fan it out. Um, this is our poach pear that we had. Uh, that went in the sauce, mm -hmm. right? Okay, and then so you just and pull that out. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I just sauteed a little bit of asparagus, um, just some butter, a little bit of white wine, salt and pepper. Now this is not a dish that will be taking part in a taste of Walsingham, but no. you brought in some ham biscuits uh -huh. that will be. So, Mike, can you tell us about the event going on at the school? So, I understand this Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 it was Taste of Walsingham and Smithfield Foods and the Smithfield Inn will be um, presenting um, ham biscuits. But again, we invite <laughs> the whole community of Walsingham and, Will and Williamsburg to come out and visit the school and learn more about the academy and the great opportunities it provides for your children. I mean, the school has really had an effect on your family. Right, it certainly has. My wife and I have both been very involved with this school, as well as I have a daughter who's now a sophomore at university at Wake Forest University, and I have a son who's a junior at Walsingham. Oh, very, very nice, and really uh, a part of your community and, of course, a part of your life. And uh, I know that it's important for the school uh, to kind of bring in what the parent does. So there's right. like a, there's definitely a, com a community component. Right, well, several Smithfield Foods employees do send their children to Walsingham Academy and who are very involved with the school and very involved with um, the curriculum and extra activities of the school. Very good. The event again is this weekend? It's uh, this Sunday at, uh, I believe, 1.30 to 3.30 at uh, Walsingham Academy. All right. Very, very good. And as far as the dish itself, wow, you made magic happen while we were talking <laughs> yeah. to Mike. Talk to us about what you did and what kind of sauce you used. This is actually <laughs> just a chive oil. Um, it's a emulsified um, pureed chive mm -hmm. um, in oil, steeped. Um, to give it a nice green color, uh, we just use it to decorate the plate. Um, this is uh, edible orchids that we use. Uh, what? Did you say edible orchids? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then um, just the asparagus. That's pretty much All right. it. Right. Looks very good. We're going to definitely you. try that before the end of the show. And as far as information on Walsingham, we're going to link that to the HamptonRoadShow.com. Where is it located? Just so folks, if they're interested in checking it out, where can they go? Uh, I think on the, or on the uh, website, uh, www.walsingham.org, and Walsingham Academy is on uh, Jamestown Road in Williamsburg, Virginia. Okay, very, very Thank good. You. Thank you both for being here, talking about a taste of Walsingham Thank taking you. place this weekend. Appreciate cooking for us. No problem.